Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we're here to talk about the LG at CES event. Basically everything that LG had to offer and all the highlights for CES 2019 from LG. So let's get started off with the biggest part and that of course is the rollable TV. Or more specifically, the, the LG Signature OLED TV R. R standing for the revolution they created or the rollable device. Now, really this TV is highlighted because it has three different types of viewings. It has full view, which is just your full TV. It has line view, which just basically is a small line of the display still up and it has these different icons. And then zero view, where you completely hide the TV in the huge speaker that it has. And really that's the whole thing about this TV. You can completely hide your TV and just have a really big speaker and you can stream music to it even with Apple AirPlay 2. All LG TVs in 2019 will support Apple AirPlay 2 by the summer and really it's just going to have that added functionality for all their TVs. But the rollable TV is just something that everyone wanted to look at and everyone wanted to see. And it's just because it's amazing looking. Will everyone be able to afford it or buy it? No, but it's something amazing. Truly is a really cool rollable OLED TV. So next we get into the laptops, the LG Gram series, and these two are really quite impressive. So first off, we have the 14 inch two in one, and this one has military grade draw protection, Gorilla Glass 5, Wacom pen that you can use for the touchscreen, and up to a 21 hour battery life. This screams student to me. It is perfect for the day to day use for most people, and I really hope to get it because we've actually never tested an LG Gram, and this two in one definitely speaks to me and very interested in seeing it but the king of this definitely has to be the Gram 17. This is a 17 inch laptop that is lighter than three pounds. Heck, most 15 inch devices aren't that light. Now this really is high end specs as well. You have the latest Intel processor on it, up to 16 gigs of RAM, up to one terabyte solid state, and again, a ridiculously big battery, even though you have a 17 inch display, it's supposed to go up to a total of 19.5 hours. That is just insane. If it gets 15 on a 17 inch laptop, I would be happy on actual use. But overall, I'm just amazed of how good this laptop really is. And this is one that I think everyone was talking about at CES as one of the best laptops that most people would use. Not the high-end gaming ones, not the crazy ones, but just the really good laptops that anyone would want to use. Now moving on, we do go to the LG speakers and these speakers sounded absolutely amazing. And we already tested out the smart speaker version of these that had the Meridian sound quality and it really did blow everything else out of the water. It is our best uh, Google Home speaker you can currently buy. But now this year they took it to a whole new level because they put this technology into a sound bar. So the new sound bars that LG has are really great. They're the SL8, 9, and 10. But here's the big thing. They finally have a sound bar with Google Assistant built into it. I've been wanting this forever just because now you can control everything on your TV with this soundbar connected to your TV. It's just amazing to have that kind of functionality and a very easy way that all it is is plug and play and you can use your Google Assistant to do everything on your TV. That is awesome. Not only that, but it also has Meridian sound quality which did sound absolutely amazing and it even had this really cool gyroscope trick where basically if you wanted to wall mount it instead of having the soundbar regular, you can and it actually will flip everything around so it still gets the Dolby Atmos sound quality, which is again, something I've wanted in my soundbar. Those two things were definitely something I have been looking for and those two things were what I needed to upgrade my soundbar and this soundbar has it. So guess what I hope to get soon. All right, then we move on to the LG Homebrew. And basically this is a K-cup beer system is the best way I can describe it. It is a really like fashion statement. I will say that it looks absolutely amazing. But the coolest thing is, is you can have a wide selection of beers and it takes two weeks to make, but it's all automated. You literally put the cup in, put the water in and you're done. You don't need to know anything about how to brew beer, but you still get draft beer in two weeks. You get about over 10 pints of it too. So that's pretty good for like a Super Bowl party or something like that where you get 10 pints of freshly crafted beer and it's ready to go. And you can keep track of it on the app as well. So that's really cool. It works for both Android and iOS. Overall, I think that's going to be a really great thing if you like drinking beer. Finally, we end with the LG Cinebeam. 
And this is a really cool projector that's just absolutely amazing. It really can project wide display. If you are two inches away, it can display up to a 90 inch display. And if you are seven inches away, it can display up to 120 inch. Now I say that close because this is a short throw projector, which is the only projector I would ever really consider getting and replacing a TV with because this really is just amazing quality. It's so bright over 2,500 lumens and it really just is amazing. It's a laser projector, it's a 4K projector, and it basically has everything you would want in a projector that's going to replace a TV. This is high end, it really is amazing, and this is the only kind of projector that I would use to replace my TV. So all in all, LG had a lot to show this year at CES, and it was really amazing. Like they just really brought it this year, and I am so excited. I'm really excited because these are things that you could definitely see in your own home best sound bar that I saw at CES, this amazing TV that probably most people won't get, but the fact that they have AirPlay 2 is a big addition to their TVs, as well as having things like these laptops that are really gonna be good. This home brewer thing that's kind of gonna create a new category. These are things that I'm really excited to see LG innovate and really push out more cool new things in 2019. And hopefully we'll also see that of course on their mobile side. All right, guys, let me know what was your favorite thing that LG showed off and what other brands you want me to see highlight. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.